What's good YouTube? It's your boy Juicy Jeff back with another video and it is currently nighttime guys. It is currently 6 12 p.m. and the sun is just now setting over the horizon and um yeah I'm chilling man. I'm looking at I'm looking at uh, Chimney Rock. I'm looking at Thunder Mountain. Um reminiscing on the day thinking about my day picking my nose sneezing <coughs> so excuse me so i was sick yesterday and guys i'm feeling better today ah when i get sick my immune system is must be pretty strong because dude i'm only sick for like a, a couple hours and then i'm back at it a hundred percent again today um, no, I, I, I have been sneezing, but I think that's just allergies, but no stuffy nose, no, no sore throat, no stomach issues. So we're back at it, man. And I fixed the glasses. I think I told you guys that I fixed the glasses. My, my hairline's receding though. You see that? Come on, man. It's receding. I guess I'm getting old, man. But I still have a full head of hair. It's just, it's just like... My hairline has always kind of receded, guys. It's kind of unfortunate, but that's why I keep it long on top because you can't tell, you know, when when you comb it over. I'm pulling the Donald Trump. <laughs> but um, I'm feeling good today, guys. I'm, I got over the cold, so that's what matters. And it was a pretty mellow day at work today. Nothing too crazy. Pretty chill day. And... Um, yeah, I'm thinking about going for a run again tonight, so I'm getting uh, trying to get hyped up to do a run because I do want to do another run tonight. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed the video I made on Sunday. That was a pretty good video, I feel like. I actually, you know, took the time, got some cool little clips at the beginning, and then pulled the GoPro out. GoPro has just phenomenal footage, phenomenal quality for that little camera. But yeah, you guys can still kind of hear it in my voice. I'm still kind of getting over it. I'm on the tail end of the cold I had. Um, so yesterday, guys, funny story. So my coworker, um, who does DoorDash on the side, who uh, does another job and does the detailing, he was telling me on Saturday, he's like, all right, Jeff, I got a challenge for you. I'm like, all right, what is it? He's like, on Sunday, he's like, I, or he's like, uh, yeah, he's like, on Sunday, He's like, at dinner time, I want you to take three dinner orders on DoorDash. So I was like, all right, all right, I'm, I'm going to give that a try. And so yesterday, Sunday, uh, you know, made the video. I uh, went around. I spent some money. I, you know, ran some errands. Just did my normal day off routine. Went for a run. Went for a mile, almost two miles. I do this loop right behind me. Go to Sunset Park. Loop back around the block here. Ran two miles. And I was getting myself hyped up at the end of the run. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Hey! <laughs> Get myself hyped up at the end of the run. And all this mental, like, oh my god, I'm about to do DoorDash. For some reason, guys, it's so weird how much nervousness and resistance I have. And I had to you know press dash now and get started so if you guys think about that i mean if i have that much resistance doing that you know just doing anything in life you always are going to have resistance so even a thing like door dasher where you don't even need a, a high school education you can be a door dasher um but so i was all excited i was all hyped up i got my you know, I uh, changed out of my running gear and got myself ready. And I was like looking at my phone. I was parked here at the mall and I was like, all right, dash now. Clicked dash now. And then two seconds later, this thing popped up saying, you need to activate your red card. So please activate your red card and you can't dash. So I can't dash until I get my red card activated. And it should be coming in my UPS box pretty soon, guys. I got to go down to Cottonwood and check that. I was going to get a box here in Sedona, but I went into Sedona, guys, and they're like, we just sold or we just uh, used up our last UPS box yesterday when I went in there. So I have to go down to Cottonwood to receive my mail, which honestly isn't that big of a deal to me because Cottonwood, uh, guys, is only 10 minutes away south of Sedona. It's another city, a little bit bigger than Sedona, 
um, actually a lot bigger you know they got that's where you go to Walmart they got the Lowe's so it's a uh, it's not that far of a drive so I'm gonna go down there and get that red card and with the red card I don't even know it's like you get this red card so you can like buy food or something for certain DoorDash orders but now it's a requirement apparently you didn't need it and that's what I figured I was like all right I can dash now but um anyway once we get that set up then I can start dashing and uh, that's my challenge I'm still gonna do that challenge because guys unless you got someone to push it you're not gonna do it and it is cool because the uh, coworker, you know, he's always talking about DoorDash, and it's it's cool to have somebody at work that's like, you know, on the same page as me with like, you know, multiple hustles and trying to get it done. But again, guys, I don't advertise my YouTube uh, to my coworkers or or to my work. One because it's not that big of a deal. You know, I have a little YouTube channel that I'm I'm pushing content out and I'm trying to run, but it's not like, it's not that. Um, I don't know it's not that big of a deal for me and i'm but i'm serious about youtube guys but the reality is for me right now um you know work is my number one priority and that's my source of income you know even if I, you know and i've tried as hard as i can to make the best possible content and come out with the best ideas for my channel guys and i mean you guys see the results it's just not you know I'm not going to get the results that I think I want or that I want, you know, fast. So it's going to take a while. So my method with, with YouTube now, guys, is I'm just pushing out content every day and it's going to be consistency and quantity is how I'm going to approach YouTube at this point. I'm not going to sit around and edit for five hours every night and, and, you know, just exhaust myself and, um, basically, uh, yeah, exhaust all of me for, the YouTube channel and I know a lot of you guys do like that kind of content but I've noticed a lot of my videos um, that are just kind of like this end up getting the most reaction and the most views and when, when it's me just venting about my day sharing my life um, you know living in the car which um, you know it is what it is so I'm glad you guys enjoy it and I'm gonna keep doing that but YouTube is it's a side business for me. It's not my main business. And honestly, right now, guys, I don't want it to be my main business. You know, I that, what I was talking about in the video yesterday about how when you live in your car, it's nice to go to a location, a job, a physical location and spend your time there and earn money. You know, living in your car and running a full-time YouTube channel, it would be kind of a disaster because like, I would always be in my car editing or I, I guess I could go into, you know, a Starbucks or a Whole Foods or something and edit, but I like that, you know, that routine of going to the job and being there and interacting and I don't know. It's, just, it's kind of like a good, uh, what am I trying to say? It's a good structure. It's a good structure in your life, you know, and YouTube is such a, uh, it's such a game, you know, you can go down a lot of weird roads with it. And so I like the situation I'm in now where I work, I can still do YouTube, I can still upload quality content for you guys every day. And then I can still, you know, have some fulfillment, I guess, making progress. And I can't wait to start door dashing. And yeah, guys, the sun is now it's pretty much gone. And I'm here at the mall once again. Um, yeah, another beautiful day. I got myself some little chocolates for later, guys. We got the, uh, Lint Lindor Assorted Truffle Chocolates. Pretty excited about that. But yeah, I ate an omelet, like, literally maybe 30 minutes ago. So I don't know, guys. We're, we're gonna go for a little run, though. It doesn't have to be crazy. I was looking at Strava yesterday. It's the app I use to track my run. You guys can follow me at Jeff Onsta uh, on Strava. Um, but uh, I was looking at some of these runners, guys. They run like 10 to 15 miles, you know, um, for just a casual run. That's insane, man. My running is trash. Like, I think a two-mile run, I'm like killing it. And it is baby steps, but dude... It's insane some of the numbers these guys do for casual daily runs, you know, 10, 15 miles. Dude, crazy numbers. Um, but anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. 
I'll let you guys know as soon as I start door dashing, but I'm not doing it yet. I gotta wait for my red car to get in the mail. And then we're gonna go from there. It's been another productive day at work. First day of the week at work. We got five more days to go. I'm already at like 26 hours though. So I'm killing it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.